today I'm going to do a video on this Camp Lux camp stove that doubles as a grill and also has like a baking toasting feature on it, which is a pretty unique feature to have on a camp stove. So I thought it'd be worth a video. Let's get into it. Okay, so before I open this thing up, kind of go over the exterior. Um, you've got a nice thin profile, which is another thing that I like about it. This is where you attach the uh, propane canister, which we'll do in a second. And then you got a couple latches. Now, pretty thin latches right here. A couple knobs uh, for the burners. A uh, little handle, carrying handle. Latch on this side. And we'll open this up and do this two-handed. All right, now on this side, you've got a little latch. Keep it open. On this side, you've got one as well. Okay, so uh, three knobs for the burners all together this is a 20,000 BTU camp stove. Now this is your standard burner right here. You got another standard burner right here. And then in the middle, this is where you have like your grill baking tray type setup. Now, the way I think I've come, there hasn't been, there's not a lot of information on this camp stove and I tried to see if there were any other videos about it and I haven't seen any so i understand how the baking tray works pretty well but the grill i'm still kind of confused about i've tried it with just putting this little grill piece right here um, and i put one single burger on it but there's not much of a grease trap and so um as the burger was cooking it would kind of flame up a bit and i wasn't super comfortable with it and so i we just went back to pan frying the burger um now below here you kind of see it's got like we'll turn this on in a little bit because i'm going to make breakfast and I'll, I'll show you guys but there is this burner right here um that kind of acts like a broiler and so part of me also thinks like maybe you're just supposed to put the grill on this baking tray down here and kind of use it more as a broiler not so much a grill just being that when the grease is falling on the burner you're having you know things flame up and i just didn't think that was very safe so i think this may be the way you're supposed to kind of do it which is not what i expected initially and so a little bit bummed about that but it probably would still work just fine if you wanted to i don't know grill up a single piece of steak or a burger or something like that but it is pretty small if you were looking to do like for a bunch of people really not the best option and get some propane hooked up to this thing real quick okay. now I'm going to take this grill piece out because I'm not going to need that this morning but this is how the baking tray works. You slide these little guys in here. And then you slide that thing into place. Now, the two burners have these automatic ignition switches. But the middle burner, which is like your baking tray, which we'll use in a little bit, um, doesn't have that. So you have to actually light that. So um, what I'm going to do right now is just get kind of get some breakfast started. And we'll go from there. Some eggs going. All right, eggs are just about done. I'm gonna rotate the bagels. That's one thing I've noticed is like you gotta like rotate it a little bit to make sure you got like a nice even cover on it. The cheese is already starting to melt. Now, one thing about this little tray right here is the second I turn on the first time we used it, turn on this burner, it started to kind of like warp and discolor a little bit. Uh, probably not a big deal but just a note on that use case all right another note on the knobs here a um, couple different trips that we've gone on so far and two of the trips 
one of these knobs has just fallen off and so something you need to be aware of as well. But overall I think the temperature control is pretty good on these. Uh, like I said it's a 20,000 BTU combined and so these burners probably get I don't know six seven BTUs six seven thousand BTUs and so it does get pretty hot but you do have some pretty good control in between. One thing I wish is it had I know it's open like this so you can get this in here but I wish there was some kind of cover to catch like the grease and stuff because afterwards cleaning it is a little bit of a chore just because of how easy it is for the grease to get underneath the burners and stuff. You really have to get in there and clean it up. Alright so the eggs are done and the bagel is just about there. So this is what I like about it really is primarily this function. I like to have breakfast sandwiches quite a bit and so it's a real easy thing, low mess, easy to clean up. So good breakfast uh, for when you're out camping and there's not really very many um, camp stoves where you can get like a good melt, especially when it comes to like melting cheese on your burger or in this case like on your bagel and so that is what I like about it. Outside of that, um, there's definitely some things that I would change about it, like the knobs. I, I wish there was some kind of tray down here. I would be willing to sacrifice a little bit of um, size on this. Like it's got a nice low profile, so that's great for packing. I would be willing to sacrifice a little bit and have a little bit more height if I could have something to catch all the grease down here. Um, but overall, set aside from like the grill feature, the the baking tray feature it's a pretty average camp uh, camp stove uh, but it's at a pretty reasonable price at like 90 bucks all right my buddy actually my buddy Josh also cooked me up some bacon to go with it so I got some bacon on the sandwich some bacon on the side and some nice orange juice so I'm gonna have some breakfast set aside from that there's not much else I can really say much about the camp stove um, like I said, the reason it interested me is because of those unique fi features, the grill and um, the baking tray. I haven't seen that on a camping stove before, so it really caught my eye and I wanted to try it out. I'll be trying it out for a little bit while longer. Um, I have been on the hunt for a new camp stove. The, the old Coleman that I had before just was not cutting it for me. And so I'm on the hunt for a new camp stove and this is where I'm at right now, trying this one out. So. Thanks for watch watching you guys. We'll catch you in the next one.